them coming on the road. So I'd like to bring in our first speaker. Um, we have the uh, Chippewa Falls Chamber Board Chair, Scott Smith, to say a couple words. Good morning, everyone. So, wow, thanks for coming. I didn't expect this many people for a road ribbon cutting. So uh, when I looked this morning, I looked at we've done, uh, by the end of the week, we'll have done 16 ribbon cuttings this year in the city of Chippewa Falls and three groundbreaking. So fantastic for our city to have this kind of development and this kind of growth. So, and this road just represents further continuation of that growth. So I look forward to uh, what this can bring to the area, what it can bring to the new development out behind us, the mall right here, it's gonna do nothing but good things. So on behalf of the chamber, the chamber staff, chamber ambassadors that are here today, and the over 700 members, this is fantastic. Congratulations to our city. Thanks, Scott. Um, next up, we've got Chippewa County Representative Dean Mueller. Anyway, you know, it's good to see the growth and development of this area. It's, it's only good for our community. Uh, this is going to connect people with some very good places up there. Uh, I don't know. I'm still waiting for the Culver's to come. So, but anyway, you know, I, I appreciate his honor the mayor and all the folks he works with to get this completed. And just, again, thank you and just enjoy it. I think, as both of the previous speakers have said, this is going to add another component to the community. It have opportunity for additional properties to be expanded and developed, which will once again help the community. It could be housing, it could be retail, it could be commercial. Who knows what it's going to be? And that's the exciting part about it is, it's kind of like we're playing chess and where do you move your pieces? Okay. Nipper in the butt there. One, yeah. two, three. Yeah. Woo! So talk to us a little bit about what's happening here today and why does it matter? This is a culmination of approximately 10 years of us working on getting this road put in place. It's something that we've probably come about because of the Wangar property, knowing, knowing that that was going to be developed and that has helped open this up. And so this has really been in place to add additional retail, commercial, housing, to the city. It's, it's really unique to have this because it's going to expand it. I mean, I, I was talking to Craig Toyson and they have some prospects. That's what it's all about. So why don't you talk to me a little bit about what you think this new roadway is going to do for the business? I'm going to start a Kool-Aid stand right here at the bottom of the road. And we're excited about all the traffic we have. <laughs> Long-awaited uh, progress, and it's finally done. So it's exciting to have another connection between Chippewa Mall and the new development on Chippewa Crossing. So just another way for people to get from the businesses that are currently here, the new ones that we're looking to develop um, and are currently building, and have done uh, recent groundbreakings and plan for some future ribbon cuttings too. So I think it's an exciting day that's taken 10, 20 years of planning. Um, these things don't happen overnight. So appreciative of the city and what they've uh, done to invest in this. And and look forward to what it will do for the current businesses and businesses that will uh, see the traffic and be able to expand here as well. 